Hey guys, my name is Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're working on the new body Ram truck. This is the 2019 and up, 2500 through 5500 heavy duty. Today I'm gonna to show you guys an awesome new upgrade. We're going to take the base model halogen headlights and we're gonna bring it up to the mid-level LED headlights um, with the reflector lens. Now this is an awesome upgrade, it's easy to install. They come in two different variations. They do come in this variation here which has the black interior bezel and they also come with the chrome interior bezel. They both come with the LED signature lighting which looks really, really cool, really enhances the Ram truck. Um, we also do include a plug and play wiring, so you can do this all in the comfort of your own garage. So today, again, I wanna show you guys how to do the install and what it looks like once it's done. So let's get started. All right guys, now that we talked about the differences in some of the headlight options, we're gonna go ahead and have Alex take over and do the installation. Uh, so with any type of electrical installation, whether it be radio, headlights, fog lights, uh, anything with door switches, anything like that, uh, you're gonna wanna remove the negative battery cable. So the negative battery cable sits right on the back here. Uh, red's gonna be positive, black's negative. So we'll go ahead and undo the 10 millimeter bolt. Come back here and then make sure we tuck it, tuck it away. I usually tuck it back here, give it a, give it a couple wiggles, uh, make sure that doesn't slip and touch the ne negative battery, battery terminal. All right, so the next step of the install, there is uh, 14 retaining clips. They start at this end, they wrap all the way around and then there's two uh, right behind the, the air intake right here. Um, so the way you do this, uh, we'll first start with the top part of the clip. Take that part off. And then I highly recommend using one of these tools here. You get five, eight bucks on Amazon. And this will take out the rest of it. Go down, pull straight off. Put those aside, repeat this step for all 14 here. Uh, after you remove the 14 clips, we're gonna go ahead and take this entire shroud off. There are two little wings right here that'll give you a little bit of trouble. So go ahead and pull up, up here. Go ahead and set that off to the side. There is about six bolts that run across the top here that uh, they're a 10, mil 10 millimeter bolt. We'll go ahead and remove all those. If you don't have an electric drill, you can, um, you can use a 10 millimeter socket set. In addition to the, uh, the screws that are on top, we're gonna go ahead and move these two push clips. They are just like the other, the other 14 and you can use this tool here. There's one on this side as well. So after you removed all the 10 millimeter bolts and the two clips, we're gonna go ahead and remove this entire trim piece up top. This pulls straight out. Don't try to pull up as you'll get caught on the, the fenders there. So after the top trim piece is removed, there's actually two uh, 10 millimeter bolts that hold this lower valance on right here. So we need to remove these two pieces of the trim. Um, you can use a plastic type of pry tool, or I'd recommend using something a little sturdier than a pry tool. Back to my handy dandy Amazon tool there. Wrap it around a uh, microfiber cloth to make sure you don't scratch anything. Go ahead and start to pry gently. It is, it is in there pretty good, but we'll go ahead and pull. It does take quite a bit of force, but as you can see, there's four clips right here. One, two, three, four. Do your best to not try to pull this way because you might snap this clip. It actually comes out forward. So repeat the same step on this side here. And again, out, not this way. After we remove the uh, two pieces of trim right here, you'll see these 10 millimeter bolts exposed right there. One and two, go ahead and remove those. So there's a couple of 10 millimeter bolts. You'll see them here. There's one here, there's one here, there's one here, and there's one up here that those need to come out for the lower trim valance. So after you remove those four 10 millimeter bolts, you actually don't need to remove them fully. You can just undo them to the end of the threads. The whole grill will pop out right there. And when I say they don't need to be removed totally, is because there's slots here 
which they make it nice and easy for you to pull straight out. So after we remove the lower valance here, we're gonna unbolt 12 10 millimeter bolts from the grill, starting up top here, and they go around the perimeter. There's actually two here, one on this side, four up top, two more over here, and one more on the bottom here. So in addition to the uh, 12 10 millimeter bolts, there's actually two little ears that go over a circle ring here. So we're gonna lift up and over on both sides, and that allows the grill to slide forward. So they're kind of tricky to get off. Do that. Just like that. So up under the wheel well, there are, there's one 10 millimeter bolt right here and one plastic clip right here. They're a little tricky to get to, but you can do it without removing the, the uh, fender liner. So after we remove the 10 millimeter bolt and the one last black clip, the headlight will be loose now. So we're gonna go ahead and roll it forward. Just be, be mindful of this right here. You don't wanna scratch that. So we're gonna take this forward. This rolls, rolls out and there's one harness. So there's a red, red pull clip. You're gonna pull that towards you. Pulls just like that. After that, you're able to just remove this. So just like the driver's side, uh, we're gonna do the same thing on the passenger side. There is a 10 millimeter bolt here and one black clip. Go ahead and remove the last 10 millimeter bolt there. Set that aside. Now the headlight should roll forward. Just remember the black clip on the bottom here could be a little bit sticky, so just kind of wiggle it out. This is ready to go. Go ahead and remove the plug on the back. And on the passenger side, there's gonna be one little clip here that actually holds the wire to the headlight um, bracket. So we're gonna have to use our pry tool. And it'll come off just like that. All right, so the next step is we're gonna start our wiring. Um, the fuse box is located right in front of the battery here. There's a nice little fuse diagram right on there. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this back, fold it up, and go ahead and remove the fuse box cover. So it's just like this, so don't be afraid to break it. On the fuse box, there's actually a diagram on the back. Um, we're gonna be going for F43, which is the fuse that we're tapping into. And if you lay this just like this on top, this is exactly how the fuse diagram is. Some people will get it confused if it's like this or this, this way. So just flip it over and lay it right on top here. So right next to K1 right here, the fuse that we're tapping into is F43 which is the third one down under this 30 amp right here. So one, two, three, and we're gonna be removing that fuse for the fuse tap. So the next nut that we wanna take off is gonna be this 13 millimeter ground nut. Go ahead and take that off here. And that's gonna act as the ground for our harness. Make sure, careful here, don't lose this nut. And set that aside. So after we remove that ground nut, we're gonna go ahead and put this on here. This is gonna be our ground terminal. That's what we just took off. Go ahead and replace the 13 millimeter nut that we just took off. Go ahead and snug that down. Be careful to not over tighten this. They do break. It's not too fun if they break. So now we're gonna go ahead and insert this new Atta fuse into F43. All right, so from the fuse box, we're gonna drop down towards the front. And if you follow these two metal tubes right here, we're gonna go right on the other side of them and drop straight down from here. So go ahead and pull that through with your fingers. Make sure you get the jacket as well. Sometimes the jacket will get, will get hung up just a bit, like it's getting right now. Just 
Go ahead and pull the jacket through. Go ahead and bring all this through here. It'll probably be, we wanna make sure that there's no slack left behind this side here. So get that nice and tight along the side. And then the way we're gonna route it is all the way across here. We're gonna zip tie and come back up and in, into here. Last one here before we route this back up and in. So you can feel where there's a little hole right here. We're gonna go ahead and press this plug straight through here. Grab it on the other side and pull straight through. Go ahead and zip tie the control module to the back of the body module here. So, I want to make sure it's a pretty snug fit. As once road vibration starts, we don't want that going anywhere. Go ahead and snip our extra here. Now we're ready to make our electrical connections before we mount the headlight. So go ahead and take your two small connectors, press in until you hear a click. We can set that aside for now. And the next two, uh, we're gonna take the original right here. This was the original one that went to the headlight. We're gonna go ahead and press the input in until it clicks, and then make sure you slide that red tab over as well. That'll click down. We can set that aside for now. We're gonna go ahead and zip tie those back. So we'll go ahead and zip tie the extra slack here to the original harness. There's a couple di different ways you can do this. Um, no real specific method, but just make sure it's up out of the way so when we put the headlight back in, it's not blocking anything. And this is gonna be where your new headlight goes on this wire right here. All right, so at this time, we're gonna take our headlight assembly, set it right here, and we're gonna go ahead and connect the new harness till it pops. There's no red slide on this one like there was on the OEM one, so just be mindful of that. And then we're gonna go ahead and roll it back in and line it up with these two holes up top here. Go ahead and place one bolt in, just to hold it in place. After we put that initial 10 millimeter bolt up top, it's still loose, we wanna make sure this gap here is, is aligned well. Uh, so we're gonna take our black clip that we took out before, put that in the hole up top here, press down. It still is loose, but this should be well, pretty well aligned. Uh, now we need to go up underneath and, and fasten that, uh, that 10 millimeter bolt that we took out.
All right, so we have just completed our Ram 2500 LED conversion headlight upgrade. As you can see, you get two full layers of LED strip lights along with an LED projector. It just looks awesome. Difficulty was about a three out of 10. It took me about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Uh, you can get this upgrade for your Ram 2500 as, uh, along with other things at infotainment.com. We do brands from Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram, and many more. Come check us out.